Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at a motorcycle by a company called Shinbao. So Shinbao is basically a Chinese manufacturer of Lego compatible bricks. It's actually owned by the parent company Lepin. Now Lepin manufactured counterfeit goods. I know there's a lot of disagreement among you about whether or not they were counterfeit or not, but in my mind, Lepin products were counterfeit. Shinbao, by contrast, actually manufactures mocks or my own creations by just regular designers. And the crucial difference is it actually pays them for their work and it doesn't infringe copyright. Now that said, this Shinbao motorcycle looks suspiciously like a Vespa, but it doesn't say that on any of the advertising or on the packaging. Also, it's an abstract representation of a Vespa. It's not a sort of scale, very detailed model. Um, so it's, it's difficult. But anyway, we'll take a look at this uh, motorcycle. I got it from AliExpress for about £30. Now, it arrived after quite a while, actually, two or three weeks. It arrived in this box um, with one more kit. Um, and you can see the bags of bricks inside. Now the bags of bricks themselves actually have um, Shimbao written on them. The bricks, I think, are exactly the same quality um, as Lepin. That is to say they're not quite as good as Lego, so don't expect them to fit together exactly the same, but the colours are pretty good. So let's take a look at the instruction manual for this kit. It's actually printed really well. The quality of the paper is pretty good. Um, it's glossy, it's kind of well printed. Um, the interesting part is on the front here, it's actually, this range is actually called the Shimbao Dream Car range. Um, and this is actually the model Little Sheep, which made me laugh. Uh, you can see on the front, this is actually a white Vespa. On the first page inside, you get a little biography of the designer and it says, you know, their names are Amador and Ramon or something, and they're famous designers, and they first built Lego back in whenever. You know, it doesn't actually mention Lego because they're kind of not allowed to. And there's even a little picture of um, a couple of the designers as well. Um, so that's quite interesting. There's a couple of things worth saying about these instructions. Firstly, they do have numbered bags of bricks in the instructions but the bags of bricks themselves aren't actually numbered. So you have to kind of work out for yourself which bags you're gonna need. Secondly, they do look remarkably black and white, these instructions. Now, I don't know if that's the model, um, but anyway, it does actually say at the bottom on the first page, red item, the red part, please take reference of the white part to assemble. That's because you can get this kit actually as a red model or a white model, and I've got the red model. And I'm supposed to just take wherever there are white bricks in the instructions and assume that they're red. Now, if only it were that simple, because actually some of the sort of shiny metal parts and things, they're not obvious in the instructions. It's quite easy to work it out. It actually adds to a little bit of the enjoyment, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, they're not as clear as perhaps they should be. The other problem with the instructions, you'll get certain pages where you can see that they've stuck a sticker over it because obviously there was actually a mistake in the instructions, which obviously you wouldn't have ever got with um, Lego instructions. Another thing I found quite interesting and quite cool was that they sometimes have an A and B version of the instructions, so you can build things in a slightly different way. Now, I don't know if that was because certain parts might be kind of rare and harder and more expensive to get um, hold of, or whether it's just a kind of separate style of motorcycle, but I quite like the fact that they give you the option of um, doing something in a slightly different way. So that's the instructions. So the model itself I've got here, I'm extremely happy with it. I think it looks really cool. The whole reason I bought it was I, I kind of thought it looked like, you know, really realistic. Now, at first glance, this is actually comparable with a Lego product, like in terms of quality and design. This is nothing like, you know, the Kobe models or the whatever they are, the, even the Oxford Titanic that I made. You know, this is actually like this is worthy of Lego. And I guess that's why these people are such famous uh, designers. Even as I'm holding it now, there are bits falling off this model and you just wouldn't get that with a real Lego kit. So that's a little bit of a shame. Now, I think some of that is actually down to the um, quality of the bricks. The bricks just aren't as good quality as real Lego bricks. And so they don't fit together quite as well. And I can see actually, as I'm looking at it now, that there are certain bricks that are sort of pride themselves apart. Now there was one part of this model that was um, that I corrected 
in my mind, which was this rear number plate bit here, had a tendency to sort of fall off. And I think there was one too many um, plate bricks inside there. So I took it out and it's made it a little bit more stable. So let's go through this model uh, from the front to the back. Now I was a little bit confused when I was building this because this tire as you can see is very thin but actually it was a real thick sort of car tire but you have to stretch it over these sort of plates and it makes it look like a motorcycle tire which I think is pretty cool. You can also see the chrome effect piping on the side of the front wheel here. There's also some stickers on the front of the motorcycle and I don't know how they've managed to do it but just by using sort of carefully placed curved bricks they have actually managed to make this look remarkably like a, a Vespa motorcycle. So the handlebars on this bike are actually turnable you can see there's um, little brakes as well, shiny little mirrors as well and uh, and a light on the front of the handlebars which is pretty cool. If you move down from the handlebars you can see there's actually a glove box which does actually fold open which I think is quite a cool detail. Then you've got the sort of I don't know what you call it floor pan um, complete with a little um, accelerator button as well which I think is really good. We've also got quite a realistic looking seat and at the rear of the motorcycle we've also got um, a couple of lights and the um, and the number plate which as I said is a little bit dodgy. On the underneath of the motorcycle you can see we've got these little stands and they actually um, help it kind of uh, stand up by itself basically so you can display this model. Really I think this model is for displaying rather than rather than playing with. Um, also at the rear of the motorcycle you've got these two sort of side panels here and and there's a lot of detail there's this sort of I guess I don't think this might be the the brake um, and then there's the sort of engine and the grille and the wheels and the wheels do turn. Um, I am actually having to sort of carefully hold this into place with my hand because this is the weakest part on the design. Um, it's actually very easy to pull these side panels off and then basically the wheel falls out and all the details fall off these side panels. But certainly if you're displaying it it's fine. And this model really looks good from every single angle. It really does look like a, um, a Vespa motorcycle. I highly recommend you take a look at this for yourself. Obviously, if Lego do start suing Shimbao, don't be surprised uh, if I stop reviewing their products. It actually makes me want to build some of those Lego creator kits like the um, Lego VW model and the Lego Mini because I reckon they probably be about the same in terms of uh, difficulty and they look pretty good from what I've seen. So all in all, I love this model. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below if you want to check it out for yourself. I've got one more um, Shinbao kit to review, so do subscribe if you like this sort of thing and Lego and other alternative Lego brands and technology and all that. Um, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time for another video.